Hey everyone, this is Dan. In this video, I will talk about my favorite charting app, Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. It's a very powerful app. I use it to do my technical analysis work. The app can be downloaded for free from TD Ameritrade. Everyone can use the app in practice mode, which allows you to practice stock trading based on historical data, but you cannot trade in real time. If you have a TD Ameritrade account, you can use the app to get stock quotes in real time and to do stock trading, as well as to set alerts. For the next few minutes, let's talk about how we can set alerts using the Think or Swim app. First, let's determine how the alerts will be sent to us. In this case, we want to receive the alerts by email and also by text message on our cell phone. So we go to the upper right hand corner here, the setup icon, click on that. Then from this pop up window, we click application settings. From here, we click on notifications. And then we want to make sure alert is triggered. This box is checked. Then we make sure we check sound on alert, send email, that should be checked and send sms during market hour and after market hours depending on your preference i like to be alerted even during after market then definitely send push notification to mobile devices i also check the opposite alerts are silenced by default then for price i check market volatility check implied miscellaneous study value click on apply settings that means whenever the alerts that we set have been triggered, we'll be notified first by a sound on our computer and then by an email message and by a text message on our cell phone. Here I've drawn two charts. On the left side is the SPY chart, the daily chart, and then on the right side, it's also SPY, but it's a weekly chart. The candlestick line here represents the movement of the price of SPY. Then superimposed on the same chart, I've drawn the Bollinger Band as well as the 50-day exponential moving average, which is the blue dashed line, and then the 100-day exponential moving average, that's the yellow dashed line, 150-day exponential moving average, the purple dashed line, and then the 200-day exponential moving average the red dash line. And then similarly for the weekly chart, then we also have the 50 period, 100 period, 150 period, and 200 period, which is a 200 week exponential moving average. The lower part of the chart includes the volume, the RSI indicator, DMI indicator, MACD indicator. On this side, similar, same RSI, DMI, but on the bottom I've drawn the fast stochastic indicator. Let's look at how we can set alert. First, let's try to set a price alert for SPY. Instead of clicking on the chart tab here, I'm clicking on market watch tab, and then I'll see this screen. And then we should type in the name of the stock or ETF. For example, if I type in QQQ, and then select the Invesco QQQ ETF, then I'll be able to enter alert for QQQ. In this case, we want to continue to focus on SPY. So I type in SPY and select Spider S&P 500 ETF. Let's try to set an alert for price. This is the latest price, the last transaction at 437.79, the bid price and the asking price, etc. Let's just say we want to send an alert on the last price. In this case, we we'll say send me an alert if the last price is above 440, for example. Once you type that, you can click on create. And then here you can see the alert we just created. That's for SPY. What's the trigger? It's last or above 440. And current is 437.79, and this alert is active. There's another way to set an alert. We can say, okay, if the price of SPY hits the upper Bollinger Band, send me an alert. 
So we've typed in SPY. So we've selected SPY, click on study alert, and then look at the period that's daily. We can change it to every 15 minutes or weekly. So let's just settle with daily for setting our alert. Then we want to edit it. Then we say we want to set the closing price of that period. That means the daily closing price. Offset is zero. And let's use the default here. It's less than or equal to the study. We put in B-O-L-I-N-G and then select Bollinger Bands. And then we want to say if it's less than or equal to lower band, then send me the alert. We'll say save. Again, it's the closing price and create alert so here it is the alert has been created if the spy closing price for the period of each day is less than or equal to bollinger bands lower band then send me alert currently it's false because it's not lower than the lower bollinger band yet here we are a little bit shy of that so if in the next trading day the candlestick chart hits this purple line, the lower Bollinger Band, then finger swing will send me an alert. Let's create an alert for the RSI value. Let's see if we want to know when SPY is oversold. And let's assume oversold is RSI being 30 or less than 30. We can say if the study of RSI, right, with zero offset, and we'll take a do default length and uh, overbought oversold settings. If the RSI is less than or equal to the value of 30 within the one bar, then we say create the alert. So that's alert. So if you can look at this chart, the RSI is at 43. That's the latest value of the RSI. If we set the RSI alert to say send me the alert if it's less than 50, then we should get an alert. Let's test it out. Let's edit, study alert, edit, less than 50. And we say create alert. Sure enough, if you show all the alert, including the activated one, see if RSI is less than or equal to 50, then it's triggered because the current value of RSI is 43, 44, and that's less than 50. That's why this new alert that we program was triggered immediately because the current condition satisfied the criteria set in the alert. Let's set an alert based on the DMI indicator. As you know, the DMI indicator is that the DMI plus indicator, which is indicated by the blue line, when it's crossing above the DMI minus, which is a lagging indicator, the yellow line, so that when the blue line crosses above the yellow line, that's a bullish signal. We want to know when the DMI becomes bullish on the daily chart. For the market watch, again, SPY has been selected. Study alert. The period is daily. We can change it to weekly or by hour. Let's just use daily. We want to edit the conditions. We want to say if the study of DMI is particularly as a D1 indicator within the dmi study and we'll take a default period on length of 14 period which is 14 days if it's greater than or equal to i just say if it's greater than again the study of dmi d minus which is the yellow line then send me an alert this program how do we know it's called DI plus and DI minus, the blue and the yellow line? If you didn't know that before you started the program to alert, you can come to this DMI chart and click on the blue line and see what finger swim calls it. When you click on it, this DI plus box is highlighted. That means the name of the blue line is DI plus. Click on DI minus, which is the yellow line. That's a legend. That means the yellow line is called DI minus. Let's try to set an alert based on the MACD indicator. And if you click on the MACD chart, 
you can see that the blue or the green line is the value and the average line is the yellow line with the MACD indicator whenever the blue line the value line is above the average line the yellow line then it's a bullish indicator the flip side is that if the blue line goes below the yellow line then it's a bearish indicator that means you should sell let's set an alert when the blue line goes below the yellow line let's go to market watch again select SPY then go to study alert edit in this case we want to select the study of MACD particularly we want the MACD yes the value line which is the blue line we use the default length the fast length slow length and MACD length when it's below or less than or equal to the study of MACD the average line which is the yellow line then we have an alert looks like the alert is automatic trigger because we already fulfilled that condition if you look at the chart surely the blue line is already below the yellow line that's why the alert is triggered so let's see how we can set the alert when the blue line gets above the yellow line come back to market watch study alert edit so instead of say if it's less than or equal to let's say if it's greater than or equal to if the blue line gets above the yellow line that's a buy signal then we should receive an alert here it is the alert has been set it has not been triggered because the blue line at this point is still below the yellow line let's look at how we can set an alert on the stochastic indicator because you look at this chart which is the weekly chart on the bottom here we have the fast stochastic indicator and then there are aside from this horizontal line we have two lines the blue line which is the fast k and then the pink line which is fast d with the stochastic indicator whenever the fast k or the blue line is above the fast d line the red line then it's a bullish buy signal so let's set an alert to say when it's going to turn bullish. We go to market watch again. SPY has been selected. Study alert and edit. In this case, we want to edit the study of stochastic STOCH. We we'll select stochastic fast indicator and the fast K which is the blue line we'll use the default values here when it's greater than or equal to the study of again stochastic indicator fast when it's the fast case above the fast d which is the yellow line then we receive a then we receive an alert it is it's set